another away win. Yeah, um, we seem to be um, sort of racking them up. But um, yeah, I'll say a routine win today. Um, I felt we were in control pretty much the majority of the game. Um, they had spells and you would expect being a home team um, and obviously used to this, the surface. Um, but all in all, yeah, I felt relatively comfortable. In fact, I felt we had a couple of gears to go, especially in the first half. So we needed to make sure um, in the second half we stayed focused because last, obviously on Wednesday, similar situation and then we sort of like let the tempo drop. They got back into it and we couldn't obviously come out with a win. So yeah, we needed to make sure obviously we did what we had to do. Um, obviously the second goal always makes it a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, Relatively, we should have buried them a few more. As I said, we're, we're waiting to sort of bury a team, I feel, with the chances we create. Um, so hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. But all in all, like I said, good performance. Um, and, you know, we go to the next. And the goals, then, uh, tell us about them. Um, well, um, Charlie's been in and around it, to be fair. I mean, <laughs> his set pieces have dropped to him a couple of times. Or he's found himself in the box. And usually we, you know, expect Charlie, you know, his composure to, to, to bury them as he does in training. But he's missed a couple. So I think he was due one. You know, it was a um, good bit of play. I think Noah had to strike and um, Charlie was there on the rebound. Um, the second was a great left foot strike as well. Um, you know, showing our forward line a you know, bit of composure, how to do it. It could have had a hat trick as well. Um, I think he missed time, sort of at the header. But the, yeah, another outstanding performance from him and sort of at the back line as well, with Dino coming in as well. Um, a clean sheet, um, well deserved because I feel the last couple of games, you know, in open play we're doing really well, just set pieces we need to sharpen up on. But yeah, all in all, as I said, there's some great performances there, especially from the subs coming on. And did he feel like we were under pressure at any point? Um, a little bit. At 1-0, um, Jack had to make some, some saves and, you know, we often take him for granted, but, you know, with those big saves, they're sort of like match-winning saves because, you know, if it goes 1-1, again, the way that the game was potentially going, you just don't know, you know, it becomes a bit of a battle. So, um, yeah, Jack obviously done some great saves at, um, to keep it 1-0 and then, um, yeah, we was able to sort of capitalise. Um, but it's, it's, it's maturity, really, and that's what I like to see. We were able to manage the game in the 15-minute periods like we like to do in the second half. And like I say, we could have put into to the sword a bit more, but um, all in all, like I said, um, we'll take it and um, we're top of the league. Yeah, we're top of the league, but we've played more games than other teams, so yeah, where I do mean, you see us? I mean, it's, from an aesthetic point of view, it's always great, and it's, uh, for the for the players, um, obviously for management as well, for the work that we put in at the halfway mark to beat up. Um, yes, obviously we've played more games, but you know the old cliche about having points on the board and stuff. So um, we're, we're just we're just obviously we're going to next week, Benfleet, a big game. Um, they're doing well um, in terms of their points to game ratio. So um, we want to obviously put in performance, be competitive at home, um, and then yeah, just chalk it off. Um, like I said, we're at the halfway mark. We're in the sort of like the sort of top and playoff position. So let's see if we can stick it out. And uh, I feel we'll go in another run, sort of the second half of the season. As I think our players are still adjusting to step six. A lot of them, you know, come up and they're adjusting to like the midweek and training and stuff and just the physicality of the league. But we always, always, as I said, we always try and play. And it's always great when you see people like MK, Sully, Joel come on. Our technical players who like to dribble with the ball, carry the ball, you know, they're getting more confidence game on game and the squad's looking strong. And individual wise, who are you picking out? Who who caused them problems? Um, I thought James was really good today in coming in. Um, no, he's been in and out of it today, but he showed a lot of composure in the first half. Considering the surface, um, he did well. Um, Terry again, the solid performance. Um, you know, Fred, he's getting better and better each game. So I feel that like as a team, as a collective, we're really getting better. People are finding their form, um, getting more confidence. And that's what we want to do. We want to give a platform for the players to be as confident as they can on the pitch um, and then produce what we see on a regular basis in training so you guys can see it you know, for yourselves. Um, you know, Tay was in the squad today and a few others. Um, Julian was out. So it shows some of our strength and depth that we're going at the moment, how competitive it's going to be. You know, everyone's going to want to be involved next week. So obviously we've got a decision to make. But, you know, um, that's, that's what you want, really. You want to be in this sort of scenario and then, um, you know, we'll play it by ear.